if Mike actually did Mondays, fuck you know, I feel sorry for you lot back in England. Mondays couldn't be much worse really. Right now for a Newcastle fan, there's a uh, news broke this morning. <clears throat> it was about two o'clock, yeah, probably lunchtime in the UK that Rafa Benitez is leaving this week. Obviously his contract we all know expires on the 30th this Sunday. And surprisingly, I'm surprised they actually announced it now, since we've had no fucking announcements throughout the summer on anything but increased season ticket prices and the most expensive kit in the UK. But they did come out and said, give her a little 560 warning that the second best manager the club's ever had. You could argue Keegan, I'd say definitely Sir Bobby was the best, but Rafa Benitez is gone. He's leaving. Um, devastating day. Newcastle fans, to be honest, we've let a truly world class manager, an honourable gentleman, a great servant of the club, someone who fought for the club, someone who surprisingly stayed at the club to face Burton Albion when he was used to managing at the Bernabeu and winning Champions League with Liverpool. Go, slip up our hands because the current owner, Mike Ashley, won't give him more than 50 million transfer budget. <clears throat> and Rafa, like the fans, actually has an ambition to climb up the table, compete for trophies, compete for Europe and not just scrape 17th every year and unfortunately the fat cockney bastard only wants Premier League TV money and has no desire to challenge for trophies or sign players that excite fans with the exception of Miguel Almiron which was obviously a long overdue record breaking transfer over Mike alone and I'm just struggling there really come again and say stuff, yeah, because I'm just so fucking pissed off that this has happened, man. I'm still on the uh, optimistic side for the takeover. I don't know why there's too many of these. I'd be surprised if the entire northeast, well, Newcastle upon Tain isn't drinking the night and getting the brown ales open because we need something to fucking uh, hide the pain of Rafa leaving because we are well and truly fucked if my optimism doesn't pay off and the takeover doesn't go through. I'm still holding out that obviously we can't offer Rafa Benitez a new contract. The potential new owners can't offer him a, a contract. Well, ho I'm hoping and praying that by the end of the month there is some good news over the takeover. It does go through, but we can get Rafa back. They can offer him the three, four, five year deal with the uh, some decent funds and he does sign a new deal, but Sky Sports News are reporting that he's seriously considering that big money offer from China. You could see he takes out for a couple of years and that's obviously his family sorted for Fucking generations, really, isn't it? I mean, it's not like he's on ship money at Newcastle. He's on six million a year. He's highly paid, but obviously double his wages there, and he'll be in a fucking fortune and an easy life for him and his, his kids and blah blah blah. But I'm hoping that obviously the takeover goes through, obviously, and maybe the new owners want a Mourinho or want um, to bring their own man in, or like I say, hopefully sign Rafa up. But now if it's continuing the way it is, and Rafa. Is obviously gone, Ashley stays, and we're stuck with Mark Hughes or Gary Monk. These are some of the favourites for the job. Fucking Lee Boyer, Roy Keane, they're all like 9 to 1 to take a job. I don't even want to fucking imagine what life's going to be like as a Newcastle fan if Ashley stays and one of these managers comes in. And I'll tell you actually how it'll be it'll be fucking relegation because it's one man and one man only. Rafa Benitez has kept this club up for the last couple of years since we got back into the Premier League, who got us up, he's kept us up. He's done a remarkable job on a shite budget, on a shite ownership, under that fucking fat bastard who doesn't give a shit about the club. And uh I just uh, I'm fucking boiling the ass 34 degrees, my phone's overheating. I'm fucking pissed off. Hopefully I'll come back with some more positive news later in the week, but fucking hell ruining my bastard holiday this fucking seeing that. I've already hung over the fuck. It's about one, two o'clock this time and it pops up all the fucking notifications that Rafa's leaving. I expected it, we announced it on June 10th on social media, I hate to say I told you so. And we're pleased just realise that on this page we don't spout shite, we don't do clickbait or, or lies. We said he was leaving and we've got loads of grief for it saying, oh who's he seen by who the cleaners, blah blah blah, loads of people giving him a grief foot. No, he was leaving so. Hi, I've just had the warning that my device is overheating. So, let's hope that he, uh, let's hope there's some better news soon but Thank you very much, Rafa, for all the fucking wonders you've done in this club over the last couple of years. The connection with the fans, the love. Fucking army phone actually did overheat there in the sun. It is 35 degrees. Degrees? Degrees? Degrees, yeah, and grease. We'll just quickly wrap this one up. Go freaking heroes over the music. But 
just looking through Instagram there as well and seeing all the players and messages, man, it's fucking heartbreaking. Like they're all saying she has Gaffer and did a great job and improved me and it just shows the effect he had on the club, the fans, you've seen all the, the effort from War Flags, all the graft that went into keeping them here and went down and you just think of all the effort and love from the fans, it's shame the fucking bastard and I couldn't match it. But I, she has Rafa, hopefully we'll see you again soon if the takeover goes through or we just pray that Ashley leaves more than anything else. Now that's obviously the main thing because I, I dare to think the state of this club next year might actually still be Drop in the comments below what you reckon is going to happen next. Take was still on. Was it ever going to happen? Who's going to be the next manager? Aye. Cheers for watching everyone. I can't even say enjoy yourself because how the fuck can you?